I returned to the sand where I shot a buck a month earlier, on a rainy, dreary day with temps in the 30s. The weather has relegated my gear choice to my iwam and my GoPro. There was a little action as two young bucks chased a doe through the woods. Changing winds and a lack of action caused me to switch stands for the afternoon hunt. I returned to the woods that afternoon with my climbing stand. As I sat in my stand, armed only with a GoPro and my bow, three bucks squared off in a nearby field. The largest buck, a 130-inch eight-point, won the battle with intimidation, and the other two bucks sauntered off. I prepared myself for a shot, in case he gave me an opportunity. It wasn't meant to be. I saw a good number of deer that evening, including several distant bucks, while I had several does walk through my shooting lanes. No bucks followed suit. Well, it is November the 9th at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, a little breezy, it's about 20 degrees out. So it is Iowa weather. Uh, I've had two button bucks around me and nothing else, but the rut is on. I mean, there's deer everywhere, bucks on their feet. Uh, a couple nights ago, I had a nice little fight right by me, but uh, couldn't get a shot at the biggest one. Um, Tomorrow night there is a winter storm coming, forecasted up to three inches of snow accumulation. A little bit of change in the weather. We just had our first frost last night or two nights ago. The leaves are really starting to fall off now, so the breeze is really blowing them away. So we're going to sit here and stand, hope a shooter comes along gives us an opportunity. So let's see what happens. Deer sightings that evening were low, and no shooters made an appearance. Well, it is November the 10th, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We just climbed back into the stand. Uh, it's warmed up to about 55 degrees today, and we're trying to cool back off. Uh, this morning it was down in the low 30s and uh, it's supposed to drop oh, 10 degrees before we get out of the stand, I think. Uh, and we have some weather coming in in the next 24 to 36 hours. It's supposed to get accumulating snow starting either tonight or late tomorrow morning. Um, there's a 25% chance, I believe, of precip tonight. I brought my rain gear because it looks like a good open up on me here anytime. In my mind, this is the last best chance I have to shoot a buck. Um, I can't get back out till, for sure anyway, till Thursday morning. Uh, I might be able to do an evening hunt uh, between there, but or two, but we'll see. Um, I don't think I'm going to go tomorrow. It's supposed to be 15 plus mile an hour winds, and that's just no fun in a tree stand. Bumped a few little button bucks coming in here, but it's the it's high rut. I'd say we're peak. 
there's been deer locked down for a week now. So if you're gonna burn a spot, this is the time. So we're in here. We're hoping for good things. The other night I was about 30 yards from here in my climber and I saw three bucks square off. Um, the biggest one was a share for me. It's probably 130. Uh, hoping to see more of the same tonight, just a little closer. Hopefully we get it done tonight. We can get out of the tree stand. I'm kind of getting burned out. I haven't spent this much time in a tree stand in probably, I don't know, six or seven years at least, I would say. It's been a long time. We've put a lot of time in the stand this year. about a quarter after five and uh, sunset's in like 10 minutes I think and it's going to get dark early tonight so I've got maybe 30 minutes on left and I'm just super surprised I've seen one deer in the woods I saw two more out in the field at 100 plus yards just through some stuff eating and just, I'm really surprised there's not more traffic through here Looking at the forecast, looks like it's not going to start really putting it down tomorrow until maybe 10 a.m. So that might really have something to do with with uh, their behavior. Maybe they're not going to feed hard until mid midnight or mid morning, I should say, till late in the morning. I don't know. I'm surprised they're not traffic it through here in a little bit. I can't believe nothing's walking. disappointed in tonight's sin. I don't know, we'll keep on here for another 30 minutes or so, call it a night, regroup for the next one. It'd be nice to recharge for a couple of days and stay out of the stand. In my, in my opinion, it would be good for me, so this is just getting kind of burned out. Plus, I miss my daughter, so when you spend all your time with her, I've done you a bit. I later learned that Jody, one of the neighboring landowners, had the fortune to harvest the largest buck I know of. Congratulations to Jody.